Now I'm going to show you how I've been doing my do nows using Google Classroom. And um, this is by no means the only way to do it, but this is how I've been doing it. Another thing I want to point out is I'm not using a Chromebook. I'm actually using my Mac because that's what I have my screencasting software on to make these videos. But anyhow, I have my Google Classroom and I'm going to go to Assignment. And my title of assignment is going to be 313. And I'm actually going to edit and paste my do now question into there. And it's due 313 tomorrow. And I am going to assign it to all three of my Foundations of Physics classes. Okay, once again, you see the class name there, and you can click to assign it to more than one classes. I'm going to actually um, attach a Google slide. I don't have to because the question is there, but I usually attach the slide with my um, objectives for the day and the agenda so besides seeing it projected everyone gets a copy and 313 Rube Goldberg there it is I'm going to add that so they get a slide and um, this do now they have to watch a little video so I am also going to attach a link to the video so I have to um, go over and copy the link, copy, then back to there, and click the link, and paste the link, so, and add it. So that is the video I actually want them to watch to answer their do now questions. It's just like a short one minute little simulation. Um, and then I can assign it and it will come up on their Google Classroom. And that's all there is to actually give them an assignment, in this case, the do now. And what I have them do to reply to the do now is I have them open the file and then I have them um, hit mark as done and a comment line comes up and I have them answer there and then again there's another mark is done button comes up and I have them hit that and um, what that gives me is um, something that looks like this so here's today's do now that I assigned and when the students do that it was 15 of them did that, 7 of them didn't, they might have been absent, one or two of them don't have computers yet, they might not have marked it as done. But anyway, I can click on the done ones, and I get something that looks like this. So you can see, each student that's done it, there is, there they are. So then what I can do is, if I want to grade them, which I don't have to, but well, I will show you how to grade them. I'll say it's worth three points, so I assign it its point value. Update that. And then I can um, respond to each student. So we'll click on Abner here. And Abner's answer was, yes, you can combine simple machines to create other machines so you can end up with a stronger, more built machine. Um, I'm going to give Abner, say we'll give him a grade, we'll give him a three. Um, and I'm going to say grade answer. So whatever comment, please use correct grammar. Okay, and I could even, um, if I had wasn't making this video, I could actually, um, now, some of them I've actually retyped the line, and I do that by cutting and pasting and then correcting it. And um, then I can post. There we go. Um, and he will get that. Um, but he won't get it 
okay, until I actually return. So I can go through and I can respond to all my students and then to actually get them to the students, okay, I have to hit the return button. Okay, and I could, right now there's only one student, but if I w had a load of them graded and I was returning to all of them, I could make a comment for everyone. Like earlier in the week I had an assignment and um, it was using Newton's Joules and Watts and a lot of the students didn't um, capitalize those three words or those three units. So rather than typing that e out for each one, I put my general comment to everybody here and said, you know, these are names, please capitalize them. So they all got the feedback. So then return assignment. And you'll notice his is returned, so he'll actually be able to see my comments in that grade. Okay, um, so that's how I've been doing my do nails. I really like it because I can see and respond to all their answers and they're a little more accountable when they know I'm going to see them. Again, grading, you can, but you don't have to. I just showed you how to put three points in. Okay, thank you.